Okay, uh, a quick tutorial on the quarter note triplet. Quarter note triplet is three quarter notes, technically three quarter notes played in the time of two quarter notes. Um, or in a bar of 4-4, four, four, that would be six, quarter, six notes played in a bar of 4-4. Four, four. Um, I always count them one and uh, two and. Uh, um, some people teach uh, lazily, lazily. Sounds like this. One, two, three, four, one and uh, two and uh, 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 one, two, two and uh, one, two, three, four, one and uh, two and uh, one. These are great. They're really cool. I love putting them in. If you're doing a standard poppy rocky tune. Um, they're really good to either go around the tom-toms um, or very good between snare and cymbals. Um, so, for instance, in a pop thing, one, two, three, four, down. Pop standard, pop rock thing, one, two, three, four, ba da da ba da da ba Around the tom-toms or one. That was a bar and a half of triplet, excuse me, just to, just to throw things off. Uh, one bar would be one, two, three, four, ba da da, ba da da. Okay, um, quarter notes triplets, way cool. Um, how to learn them? I think the easiest way is uh, using eighth note triplets as a base uh, and accenting every other note. So in exercise two here, uh, we've got one bar of eighth notes triplets followed by one bar accenting the right hand okay um, again I, I count triplets all the same one and a two and a so this will be just the exercise one two three four one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a one and a two and a three and a four uh, when you're learning it do a, do a few bars to settle into the uh, quarter note, so eighth note triplets, then a few bars of the um, of the quarter notes. So settle into it, get comfortable, then start accenting. Maybe change sources. If you want a kit to do this on a cymbal. Bell of the right symbol is great for this. This is that one is way cool on things like if you're playing a shuffle, playing a shuffle or a swing tune. If you do a fill with the right hand on the uh, on the bell of the right symbol, uh, left hand on the snare, uh, left hand quietly on the snare. Like I say on, on a shuffle or a swing thing, you get. Okay, so just split in the hands and you automatically get that uh, quarter note triplet. Exercise three. Okay, exercise three. This is going to sound a bit weird, but it's a brilliant way of, getting, of learning and getting used to that three against two feel. So if we look at exercise three A, uh, eighth note triplets counted, um, but you're missing, you're missing beats out. You're playing the first and the third beat of the first triplet the first and the second beat of the second triplet, the same again, first and third, first and second uh, of the third and fourth triplets. So it sounds like this, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh. So you get that da 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 Once you've got the pattern in your mind, um, then we move on to the sticking, and it's the sticking that makes this really interesting. Okay, the sticking exercise 3B. Uh, on the first beat of the first triplet, you play both hands together. It shouldn't be flammed, it should be both together. Um, the, I'm just 
excuse me, I'm just looking around the cat who's in front of my music, uh, who you can't see. Um, so, both together, the third beat of the first triplet with your right hand, the first beat of the second triplet with your left hand, the second beat of the second triplet with your right hand. I have my camera mirrored to help me keep in, in frame, so this will look opposite to you. Okay, so this will look like, like my left hand is my right. Uh, but just mirror my actions off the screen and it will all make sense. So it's both, right, left, right, both, right, left, right. A bit faster. Now why on earth would you want to do that, you're thinking? Well, I'm glad you asked. When you separate your hands with that one, what you get is your right hand playing triplets, your left hand playing four beats in the bar. Okay, so if that's uh, uh, one, two, three, four, that same pattern, when you split it, And it's exactly the same. But a few minutes every day of doing that, and you'll get that three against two feeling perfectly every time. Okay, so that's uh, that's your quarter note triplets. Like I say, really cool. Uh, they're great to put in swing things. Uh, they're all and they fit perfectly in swing. But they also work as a great contrast in straight 4-4 four, four, pop and rock stuff. Okay, so uh, quarter note triplets, um, play them, enjoy them. One, two, three, four. Thank you. And uh, I mentioned the cat earlier. He likes looking at the little picture uh, on the screen as I'm recording the video. This is him, that's Maxie.